I teach a first year course to probably 400, 450 students in analog electronics, which is a very basic course in simple analog electronic design. And it's given to both electrical engineers, but it's also given to um, mechanical engineers and aero engineers and civil engineers and biomedical engineers. So it's, it's given a whole pile of people. There's a lot of engineers who are there on sufferance because it's common curriculum and it's part of what they have to do. The important thing is to engage the students. The reason is because if the students aren't engaged, um, then in a lecture setting, they're really not learning anything. They're either asleep or they're engaged. And basically, it's just a case of making sure that you're on your toes during the lecture and keeping eye contact um, with the class, even though the class is 400, and just seeing when they're turning off. And that's re reasonably easy to do. I think most people can do that without any difficulty. I teach programming to second years, and I teach digital circuit design to third years. Uh, probably the, the most fun is actually the first year course. So it's the, the analog electronics one. It's a combination of big classes and lots of students in them, but then lots and lots and lots of laboratories where the students get the opportunity to interact with the staff and interact with demonstrators and get a chance to ask questions about what's happening in the, in the, the electronics problems that they're faced with. I think that one's particularly rewarding because of the two sorts of interaction. I mean, there's, there's an interaction which is almost the sort of interaction you might get in a theatre where you've got a huge bunch of people and you're explaining a subject to them. And sometimes they get it and sometimes they don't. Um, but when they get it, um, you immediately get the feedback um, from the class. You can see, you know, 400 sets of eyes that are actually thinking through in their head and then catching the fact that they've, uh, they've understood what you're trying to get. As well as that, you get the interaction in small groups. So in the laboratories, they're working on a problem in groups of just two or three people. And then you're chatting about what that group of two or three people um, are understanding. And that's a completely different sort of interaction. But, but it is an interaction where, um, again, you can solve little problems in their understanding without much difficulty. So, so the fact that there's, there's lots of different ways of interacting with the students there, I think, makes that course fun. As well, um, what we do is we do an online set of tutorials. So we've worked out in advance a whole pile of tutorial questions on the subject and thought about all the wrong answers it's possible to think of in that area. And then um, given hints, depending on which wrong answer the student comes up with. Um, we did this because the class was so huge that we thought it was the only way to do tutorials and actually have the students get a chance to have something that was akin to um, personal interaction.